What's up, Internet? This is Byron D Zero, your Tokusatsu superhero, and I'm going to talk about Superhero Tyson again. But don't worry, I'm not going to talk about the movie itself. I'm just going to do a top six about the potential sequel because Toy has already expressed interest in making this a regular thing. It was successful numbers wise, kids love it and that's all they care about. So in the event that a second movie comes out, here are my top six things I feel need to be done differently for this to be a success all around. Number six, better voice acting for the suit actors. One of my big issues with uh, Superhero Tyson was the lack of believable voice actors for most of the suit actors. Yes, a few of the original actors reprised the, ro the voice roles for this film, but not very many. Um, and even if, even if you're not going to get the original actor, get someone who sounds more like him. Kai, aka Maji Red, from Maho Sentai Maji Ranger, did not sound a single bit like the actor who played Kai in the slightest. Just got some random Japanese dude. Same thing with John. I think John was probably one of the worst. So was Sosuke from uh, Go Andrew. I could go on for days. In fact, the only one that sounded even remotely like the actor was uh, Tetsu Inada, the voice actor for Kamen Rider 1, one uh, Kamen Rider Ichigo, the very first Kamen Rider. He played uh, Rider One in the in the big hit Mega Max, and I guess it was only natural that they would go with him again. In fact, I couldn't even tell the difference when I first heard the two. Uh, sounds a good amount like Hiroshi Fujioka. May not sound exactly like him, but he sounded close enough. And you know, a little effort in the casting would go a long way. Just saying. Uh, Number five, a smaller cast lineup. Superhero Tyson's cast was just too much. There were too many heroes, too many villains, just all clamoring up into this disaster of a film. And it was so spread out because of the large cast that you didn't really get a chance to really connect with some of the characters. It was annoying and it really didn't help the film in what I find to be a big list of problems. Number four, less emphasis on the Showa heroes. I'm talking about Super Sentai and Kamen Rider. Let's face it, as awesome as these Showa heroes are, they're dated. And the, I, know, I don't know how the kids in Japan feel, but I'm going to go out on them and assume that they're not really going to connect with Rider One or Aka Ranger or Kamen Rider Stronger. Yes, there is a huge nostalgia factor there. But if they really cared about the nostalgia factor, they would they would have put a little more effort into the film overall. If you're going to play it to kids and kids alone, just focus on them. Just focus less on the show era. Show era is over 20 years old. Let it go. Um. Number three, focus on the current teams and the current writers. Uh, it would be a lot more beneficial. You know, another one of the problems that Superhero Tyson had was Forze and Go Buster got little to no screen time. They show up in the beginning. They meet up. They meet up with Marlos and De Decade in their respective worlds, and. <laughs> then they show up again at the end. You only see him out as suit for the very beginning of the movie. And that's kind of messed up. Again, part of the, it was a part of the reason why Superhero Tyson was such a mess. Not everyone that could have been used got the proper amount of screen time. But I digress. Uh, number two. No more dinner. Stop it. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. It's been over five years. 
the series died after Takuro Sato left, in my opinion. And then when you try to cast uh, the kid who played him in Ore Tanjo, clearly you didn't think, clearly you catching Toyo didn't think that Toy Toei didn't think that he was good enough to continue casting him for the role. And then you got that bland vanilla kid who played uh, Ryoma Echizen in the Prince of Tennis musicals to take over the name of Dino. And you don't even want him doing it anymore. So, Dino's dead. It's been over five years. Just stop. Please, Toy. Please. Uh, and number one. Get Koichi Sakamoto to direct. It's not that hard. You can get him to do the Mega Max films. Why not get him to do Tyson? The action scenes were so boring and unimpressive. Get a director that knows how to make a badass fight scene. It's not that hard for you, is it, Toy? Or maybe you just don't want to pay the money. Or maybe uh, Saban's offering him a little more money for Power Rangers. I don't know what it is. Just whatever the problem is, get him on it. Please. Well, guys, that's it for this week. This is Byron D Zero, your Tokusatsu superhero, saying "Ja, matana." Oh, and if you're interested, uh, if you have any other suggestions for what should be done for the next film, uh, let me know. I'd love to hear your thoughts and suggestions. Just try to keep them as PG as possible. You know, you don't have to swear all the time. All right. Peace.